some of you, but you need to know it. Now be quiet, sit up, and pay attention. This is serious business. Carmen, roll the projector. Turn out the house lights. Hi, I'm Meadowlock Loomer of the Holland Globetrotters, and I'm going to tell you about the world. Once upon a time, everybody thought the world was flat. Then they began to think it was, but they really weren't sure which shape it was. At last, folks finally figured out it was round, and that was a great relief. Then they decided the Earth had an axis, poles, and an equator, and it divided into two hemispheres, the north and the south, not to mention east and west directions, and there's a bunch of latitude lines and a flock of longitude lines, and boy, that's enough to weigh you down. And I'm here to tell you uh, something very important. The Earth spins. That guy's not the an axis. The axis is an, an imaginary line inside the Earth, running from this end to that end. And the Earth spins on it just like a wheel spins on an axle. But when we are talking about the Earth, we call it an axis. Now, the two ends of the axis, here and there, are called poles. You've heard of the North and South Pole. Well, the North Pole is at the North end of the axis, and the South Pole is at the South end of the axis. Of course, these poles are not to be confused with flag poles, phone poles, pineapple poles, fishing poles, and pad poles. How did I know which one was the North Pole and which was the South Pole? Well, because of the four directions. Let me show you. Officer, uh, could you explain which way is north, south, east, or west? Sure. That's west, that's south, that's east over there, and that's north over there. Thanks. Well, there are four principal directions, but just in case you don't have four arms, here's what you ought to remember. Ta-da! When you go up, farther toward the North Pole, which some people say is the top, you are going north. If you go in the other direction, you are going south. Now, there are two other directions, east and west. And if I went around in this direction, I would be going east. And if I backed up in this direction, I would be going west. If you flatten out a world map, the same thing still apply. This flat map has the same four directions as the round Earth has. Now, if this movie screen was a giant map, then at the top would be the north. And at the bottom <laughs> would be the south. And over to the right would be the east. All right? And over to the left would be the west. <laughs> the earth as we saw it before is shaped sort of like a ball. But scientists dream up this fancy word for it, and they call this shape a sphere. The two words really mean the same thing. 
scientists just like to use the word sphere. Well, if some of those guys invented our sports, today we'd be playing... Take me out to the sphere game. Base sphere. Basket sphere. And of course, foot sphere. So you see, it's really quite simple. Hey! Somebody's trying to put something over on old metal log. This isn't a sphere. Only round balls are spheres. I don't want this turkey. And it's one, two, three, and you're out if it's not a sphere. No, no, watch too close. This might hurt your eyes. Now look what we've got. Two half spheres. We call one of these things a hemisphere. The word hemi is a Greek word which means half. That's all there is to it. Hemi means half. The word hemi occurs frequently in the English language. For example, there's hemi duck and there's hemi dog and the Himalaya mountain. Hemi just means half. Now let me show you something else. Suppose we take a scoop of northern ice cream and a hemisphere of southern ice cream. If we put our southern hemisphere of ice cream together with our northern hemisphere of ice cream, we get a sphere of ice cream. Now we can divide the earth the same way into northern and southern hemisphere. If we bring the two together, we get a whole sphere. I just hem the hemisphere together. This hemming will only take a moment. So there's a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere. But the two halves don't really come apart. They stay together. The circle where the two halves touch is called the equator. The word equator comes from the same word that equal does. That's because the equator divides the earth into two equal parts. Equal, equator. Simple. The equator isn't the only line that is on the map of the world. We have latitude lines and longitude lines. You can use these lines to say exactly where something is. It's kind of like an address. Now don't let these fancy words scare you. You already know how to use these two kinds of lines. You sort of use latitude and longitude to tell what seat you sit in. This is my seat here. I know, I sit in seat three of row two. That's like latitude and longitude. My latitude is one, two, three rows back. My longitude is one, two rows over. I sit where the two lines cross. And now all you have to do is remember the fancy word. And remember which one is which. Here's how I remember which is which. Every time I think of latitudes, I think of a ladder. Like the ladder, latitude tells how far up I can go. That is, how far north. Like the latter, latitude also tells me how far down I go. That is, how far south. Each step of the ladder is like a line of latitude. Each line measures how many steps north or south we are. Just remember, lat is like a ladder. The way I remember longitude is that the first part of it is the word long. Whenever I think of long, I think of a long trip I took when I was just a little globetrotter. I remember I sat in the back seat and counted all the telephone poles we passed. 1,027, 1,028. The telephone poles told me how far we'd gone. Those long, tall telephone poles are just like lines of longitude. Whenever you see the word longitude, think of me on my trip going past the long, tall telephone poles. And now, the concluding episode of the mystery movie.
Latitude here. You lose them, we spot them, sweetheart. Where is Transylvania? I must find Transylvania. Come to 902 Maltman Avenue. Price is no object. This looks like a job for Captain Latitude. Located somewhere north of the equator. Yeah. How far north? I know. It's located somewhere on this line. But that line goes all the way around the Earth. Who tricked me? Never fear. Bonds is here. Hey, I was here first. Nonsense. Longitude is. Everywhere! We're not staying here! But I know where Transylvania is! Ah! <laughs> Let me see. East or west? Longitude can find it best. <laughs> it's somewhere on that line. But where on that line? Well, I've told you how far east it is. Longitude can't do everything, you know. Idiot! I already told him it was somewhere on this line. But you're wrong! It's on this line. 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 At last, I know. I'm late. He went through the window. <laughs> That concludes our mystery movie for the evening. But now, a word from the man who makes all of this possible. Hi out there, friends. This is Metalock Lemon here with Metalock Used Lemons. I mean, Metalock Used Globes. This here is my dog, Spot. <laughs> now, this first globe is real cool. It spins on its own axis. Push it home today for just $29.95. This globe over here has the wrong kind of axis, so it's really cheap. Here's another good one, fully equipped with north and south poles. Hold it up so they can see its spot. This one's has a steel at $39.95. Better make that a uh, $19.99. This next item here is incomplete. It's only a hemisphere. Spot here ain't the other half. So it goes for, you guessed it, half price. These are demonstrators only, and of course, they are not spheres, so we'll let them go for $5 a piece. We're located at the corner of Latitude and Longitude. Just look for the big lemon in the sky. So come on down and see us, and remember, the best globe in town are lemons. Ain't that right, Spot? <laughs> Now, I hope you've all learned something from this fine motion picture. I know I did. Yeah!